Hello guys, today we will discuss about the ranula. It is an important uh, question or short notes in ENT in your university examination. So let's discuss about it. What is ranula? Okay, do you know how it appears and how it differentiated between other diseases? And what is the treatment modalities? Okay. And why it occurs? What is the pathogenesis? Everything we will discuss it today. Okay. We will see first how the ranula occurs. Basically, you should know that ranula occurs in the buccal cavity. Location. The location is buccal cavity. Okay. And how it appears? Location is vocal cavity in the tongue basically below the tongue or in the tongue okay location how it appears what is the appearance you should remember that it is a cyst like structure cyst like structure it is a cyst like structure seen in the floor of the mount it is basically seen in the floor of the mount or below the tongue fine these are all mcqs also it is present one side of the frenulum one side of the frenulum so it is occurs below the tongue so when the cyst balls or uh, the size becomes bigger it will push the tongue upward so it will push the tongue upward suppose this is the tongue Right, this is the tongue. Here, frenulum is present. If the ranula occurs, also one cyst like structure that is called ranula occurs here, and it will push the tongue upward. So, the tongue moves like this. Okay, this is the frenulum. It is present below the tongue. Fine, this is the appearance and location. And what is the etiology or pathogenesis? You know that salivary gland, sublingual gland are all present in the oral cavity. Due to the blockage or obstruction of sublingual salivary gland, due to the blockage or obstruction of the sublingual salivary gland it becomes enlarged so it forms a cyst this cyst is known as ranula as simple as that fine so uh, now uh, you are able to know that how ranula forms what is the pathogenesis this is the pathogenesis <clears throat> then we will see how you will treat this case if a patient comes to your OPD how you will treat treatment is as simple as that surgical excision if the cyst is small then it will no problem it will recover on its own but if the cyst becomes large okay then you have to excise the ranula so surgical excision should be done that's all for ranula then i'll show you how ranula is seen one second guys let's see Okay, 
see this is the picture of the ranula see it is a bulging like structure or cyst like structure transparent also it looks like transparent right and it is present one side of the frenulum this is the this is a frenulum right this is the tongue above is present this is the tongue frenulum it is attached with the tongue this is the frenulum one side of the frenulum the ranula is present this is the ranula it may present also here if it is present here it's not here it's present only in one side of the frenulum and it is transparent so uh, during surgical excision we have to lift up the tongue and we have to do incision here that's it for the treatment and uh, if you so if you have if you able to see this image uh, this is the ranula okay after that it will uh, enlarge its size and it goes up to the neck also see ranula present the neck forms a swelling okay it invades to the neck region also what it has written that a plunging ranula has caused a mass to protrude from beneath the tip of the chin and in the upper neck almost superficially resembling the develop seen with corticosteroid therapy toxicity fine due to some drug toxicity and all the salivary gland become blocked and it forms ranula and the ranula becomes comes to the neck from the oral cavity fine this is all about with ranula uh thank you for today